but here's the opening I set up in the right place. He's gobbling up there to the right. I'm hoping he's not up on that hill. Yesterday I heard him, yesterday late morning, I heard him gobble down here in this, there's an open area down here. Heard him gobble down here. So I'm hoping he comes here. But I don't really, I just heard him gobble those couple times and that's it, so I'm not sure. He could go somewhere else. I'm not sure I'm quite in the right spot. I'm right on a road, which I like. We'll see. Put some brush in front of you and your decoys. It makes a big difference to me. It really breaks up. Makes you a lot harder to see. Everything's gone pretty quiet right now. Got up on top of this ridge. I'm just gonna chill out here. It's a great place just to listen. I was hunting more over there. Couldn't really hear over here. I can go another half mile that way. So from up here, I can I can hear a huge area. So I'm just gonna chill out. See if I can hear some birds and uh, go from there. Hen should be leaving here. You know, the next hour or two, who knows, might pick up again. So I wanted to show you something. This is what strut marks look like. They're about probably a foot wide. You'll see two lines, they'll be a foot wide. Oftentimes, oftentimes they'll be perpendicular to the road as that turkey's going up and down. He'll have a hen walking in front of him and he'll be going like this in the road. So it'll be about a foot apart and you'll see them and they're pretty off. They're pretty obvious and you want to keep an eye out for them. These were obviously made in the last couple of days. Um, and that's what's been real frustrating is I've been, I've come along a bunch of these strut marks and I just can't get birds to gobble. You know, I just, I don't know if they're with too many hens or what, but there's birds in this area. Yesterday I walked ten and a half miles. I'm at about five and a half right now today. It's eleven thirty. I've just been yeah, five and a half miles up, down. I walked from one end of this property to the other. This morning I heard quite a few gobbles. Um, but then after about six o'clock it's pretty much been quiet. I've heard two gobbles since then. Um, you know, I took a nap, woke up, you know. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the hens to leave. Um, it's all about it's all about timing, and uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit of a loss right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the truck, go get some lunch, regroup a little bit, and uh, come up with another game plan because uh, it's not working. I don't know. I mean, tomorrow, this afternoon, tomorrow, who knows what's gonna happen? It's turkey. Turkey hunting can be hours of boredom with moments of excitement. So I think you just gotta, you gotta just keep grinding away. Um, I mean, there's a, there's plenty of birds in here. I'm seeing sign, tracks, strut marks. I heard them gobble this morning. Um, I'm just not, I just not on them right now. I'm gonna cook up a little lunch here. I'm gonna have some of the turkey that we shot yesterday and uh, mix it in. This is mashed potatoes that comes in a bag. Nice thing is it comes frozen. Get it from Lamb Weston where I work and uh, just gonna mix it all together. Tell you what, might not look good on video, but oh man, that is just money. That is so good. Oh my goodness. It's like Thanksgiving dinner.
turkey sign like this, and you're looking for tracks. I've never been to this area before, so I'm looking for any clues I can get. This is a new area that I'd never hunted before. I was walking up that road up there. I was way down at the bottom and could hear those birds gobbling. Walked up that road. And I could hear those birds gobbling down. I, I was pretty sure they were right down in that green area. When I was on the other side, I, there wasn't really a good place for me to get up and get on them over here. So I walked all the way around and got up on this hill up here. And when I was over there, I mean, they just blew up. And I think what happened is, is they were out here gobbling, hen came into them. And as soon as they heard that hen calling, they just blew up, almost like when a gobbler's within 50 yards of your decoy. I mean, just blew up. Then they got quiet on me. I heard them gobble once. Basically the corner of this clear cut, I heard them down there once. I wasn't sure, you know, like it almost, I was, wasn't sure if the hen pulled them off and they sort of went down the creek. I made the right call and got up the hill, you know, like can't preach that enough. You know, if you can get up the hill, you always want to try to get up the hill. And actually what was happening is, is those birds were just slowly walking up the hill. Originally I set up coming right out on the other side of those pine trees right up there. Set up there. Well, I was there for probably 30 minutes and uh, nothing. And uh, so I just sort of wanted to see what's going on, maybe come back here tomorrow. So I sneak, snuck over to these trees <laughs> right there. Snuck over to those trees. I didn't bring my gun, I didn't bring the camera. <laughs> And they, they must have been just about 40 yards over the hill right here. So I ran back, grabbed a decoy, and uh, set it out. And jumped, turned the camera on, jumped in the weeds, and uh, here came the one. So great afternoon hunt. Uh, got my second Idaho Tom of the Year, so I'm tagged out. Uh, not too bad a bird. It's a probably a two-year-old bird. Nothing special on the spurs, three quarter inch. Has a decent beard, actually probably might be the best beard I've shot this year. Um, probably about nine inches. Uh, I haven't shot a lot of great beards. Actually the one, the, uh, the bird I shot the other day up here in Idaho, it was a bigger bird, bigger spurs, um, weighed a little more, but uh, the beard wasn't as good. 
uh, I'll tell you what, no more of just hunting over the hen. I usually put out a hen and a Jake. I was just in a hurry to, you know, it's wide open out here. I crawled out with this girl. It's a little easier to set up than the Tom decoy. I just want to be quick, throw it out there. I always run a Jake decoy. First time with a hen and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> with a Jake decoy, every time they go right for that Jake and they center it up and it's been much easier. The hen, it just, man, it, I'm going Jake from now on. No more of the hen. That hunter specialty, like half strutter Jake. I don't. It's been like the ticket the last few years for me. Uh, they just come right into that. I think you've seen other videos. They come in, they strut to it, they attack it, and it just sets up an easy shot. You know, as they're strutting around, I can move and set up my gun if I need to. I could move the camera. Um, you know, when they're looking the other way today, you know, it just it sees the hand, but just not the same.